Change still an all too familiar word at Nottingham Forest, but Montagnier is still hopeful. Nottingham Forest head coach Philippe Montagnier is hoping their luck will finally turn when it comes to injuries as they prepare to go to Newcastle on Friday. Change. For various different reasons, it is an overused, all too familiar word at Nottingham Forest, amid the current climate of frustration. For Philippe Montagnier, the biggest source of exasperation will be the changes forced upon him. The seemingly constant tide of injuries that have thwarted his efforts to instill any consistency in his team selection. But the Frenchman is also old enough and wise enough to understand that the topic of change has another more worrying significance at the city ground, as a run of four games without a win prompts fresh calls, from some sections of fans, for him to be replaced. That is one change that is not yet immediately on the horizon. But, however patient the American consortium, lead by John J. Moores, might be, Montagnier will know that mood of perseverance and understanding is unlikely to last for long, if the recent run of results is maintained for much longer. If Montagnier does not want the change in majority ownership, which remains days, rather than weeks away, to be followed by a change in head coach in the not-too-distant future, a change in form is very much required and sooner, rather than later. He will be acutely aware of such things. Such is the life of a football manager. And this is hardly Montagnier's first rodeo. But nor is he ready to let go of the managerial reins just yet. As he puts it himself, he cannot worry about his own future. His concern. His focus must be on what happens on the pitch, rather than off it. And, in the immediate future, that means the not inconsiderable challenge of facing a Newcastle side who will not only have revenge in mind, but also the additional motivation of wanting to bounce back from a defeat of their own, at the hands of Sheffield Wednesday, on their last outing at St James Park. It is arguably the most testing fixture most sides will face during the championship season. And, for Forrest, it comes at a time when they will still be without the likes of Henry Lansbury, Chris Cohen, Daniel Pinello's end, when it comes to being able to start the game at least, Brita Sambalunga. While Michael Mancian is suspended, following another bout of Forrest in discipline, even if his exasperation was understandable. For Montagnier, the trip to St James Park is one to be relished. But, to partially borrow the phrase used by Joe Wurl recently, it is one he might have relished more, had he been preparing to make the journey north with a full squad, or something close to it, at his disposal. It is not about having all the players fit, I would just like to have 80% fit. For me, right now, that would be perfect, said Montagnier. You always have injured players. There are always one, two or three players missing, that is natural. Sometimes there is an exception and you have no players injured, if you are lucky. Sometimes there is an exceptional situation and you might have 8 or 10 players injured, but it is not normal to always have 7, 8 or 10 players injured. It is very frustrating. I cannot say what we are capable of reaching this season, because I have not seen my squad 80% fit. I need that to be able to see our level. To be able to have some consistency. It always seems to be difficult for us to have the same starting Zai, for the last few months. I am not greedy, I would love to have two or three games in a row with the same lineup and with key players available. After that you can build. Even when you train with the squad, it is important to have players fit, to have that stability. The last time Forrest named an unchanged starting lineup was at the iPro Stadium, against old rivals Derby County. But even then fate intervened, when Lansbury was injured during the warm-up and had to be replaced in the team, at the last minute, by Mustafa Kareal. It is rare to have all your strong players available together. But what is difficult for me is that, after every game we always have to make changes to the lineup because of injured players, said Montagnier. We named an unchanged side against Derby County, for once, but then saw Henry Lansbury suffer an injury in the pre-match warm-up. It is very frustrating. We would love to have the capacity to name the same lineup in the game, without having to make changes. That would be my New Year wish. Not to have every player fit but just to be able to have our top players fit for a month and be able to name an unchanged squad for a few games. It is difficult to assess our level at the minute, because of the injuries. 
In the coming year, I hope to have a bigger part of my squad available. For me it is frustrating to have 8 or 9 players missing, key players as well. Sometimes this happens, but it is frustrating. Amid adversity often comes opportunity. That has certainly proved to be the case for Whirl, the teenage defender, who has flourished since Forrest's injury problems, and his own efforts in training, helped open the first team door for him. But even Whirl, who epitomizes the cliché about having an old head on young shoulders, has now succumbed to injury and is a doubt for the clash with Rafa Benitez's side. With Damian Perky also still a doubt following surgery on his jaw, it could see the likes of Anil Ahmed Hadza concluded in the Forest squad for the trip to the northeast. It is normal for young players, when they come into the side, because they suddenly play a lot of games at a high intensity, said Montagnier. When you have a lot of injuries, you have to use young players, sometimes too much. But you have no choice. It is another opportunity for young players to integrate into the first team squad in this game. Forrest also need to be better on the ball. To play with more urgency and quality in possession. But, when it comes to luck, after seeing a positive start at Huddersfield and done by not just one, but two own goals at the John Smith Stadium, that is another change they would also definitely welcome, as Montagnier's final words, as he exits the pre-match press conference, testify. We do need some luck and hopefully that will change. Check out these other amazing videos. Subscribe to our channel. Don't forget like, comment and subscribe. Thank you so much. Subscribe now.